Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. When I was in the Kingdom Hall, there was a bunch of beautiful music, and some of them once in a while gets in your head because the magic of these songs is to build you hope promise that God and the Son is going to fulfill in the future and I was going to make this video a couple of weeks ago but I put it aside because there was other information I wanted to um, check out Tuesday night meeting I found out they um, not only took this song a Jehovah Witnesses scene, they made a video out of it. And I want to talk about that first. Videos are powerful. That's the reason why Watchtower thought it a new technique to lure people in if they could see the the magic and the power behind these um, videos. I'm using magic because is because there's something sometimes gets into somebody when they watch these type of videos and put it together and call it religion. And when I saw the video of this I can't believe it. Because when you go in door to door and when someone has a child, even a person that um in the family or friends, wheelchair bound, um have medical problems of course a video like this would bring tears into people's eyes to believe that the magic that's inside this video is actually touching the hearts of the viewer so I'm gonna play this song of course we got background music with the with the birds and you might hear a frog or two who knows but they all like to join together so let's get into this song and we'll take it from there
That's why Watchtower wants every person who watched this video to keep your eyes on the prize. Advertising. To become a Jehovah Witness. To become a publisher. And to be a pioneer. To go around preaching about paradise. Now I'm not disagreeing paradise is not real. I am angry and mad and furious when a false religion takes something beautiful even try to make a beautiful song to lure people in to be eaten alive in this false religion as being controlled by Satan the devil. This song, when I heard it, you can take it two different ways. What the future will be, or what Jehovah Witnesses and other people don't see the truth behind this song. My interpretation. My interpretation is I'm hoping the eyes of every person is in a cult, false religion would open up and they can see the truth behind their false teaching. The death of the ear, the death for their ears to open up to hear the words people like me and others that was in these religions to teach you the real truth and being young again in the future there's nothing wrong with that and without having no more pains, sorrow, be able to run around and do things what you can't do because you're you're up in age. You're not like a spring chicken anymore, or or puppy or, or a kitten that is always playing, to almost like. 24 hours a day. That's where the youth is. So that song does have its purpose of giving hope. The true hope is in the Bible. It's not in religion. And you will not ever find the real truth in false religion. If you don't examine your teachings, what they have published over the years, how do you know if the doctrine hasn't been changed from day one? But the only problem is, I think what's time has lost their mind. They have published so many books. Now you can still buy them. Some off of Amazon and other bookstores. You can get the PDF of these books and go back and read these books for yourself. And you'll find all kind of misguided propaganda, misterpret, stupidness they put in these books. 
And it was the truth at that time. If you didn't believe nothing in these books, you would have been kicked out. Just like today. You would be kicked out if you bring one of these books in and demand from the elders, demand. How can this be God's organization when this crap I'm reading is what y'all put in these books at that time was the truth. And you do not want to hear famous story. At that time, the light was weak. And it gradually gets brighter and brighter every year or years after years. The Bible does not need to be up Upgraded, like Jehovah Witnesses upgraded their Bible. And they used the little white lie. Well, our Bible is better because we took the old English we, u we don't use anymore. And they took all that out. They did that about four different times. From English to English. To English, to English, to English. So, when you fish your Bible for the last time, it was not in Old English. It was in English. So, what was the changes? Because Watchtower found out there were some scriptures in there that they want to rewrite and bend to fit their religion. So when a person get all these new up-to-date Bibles and without using a King James Bible or any other Bible, you won't know the difference. Even when I was listening to some of the Kingdom Halls phone tie-ins, some people have said that in the Black Bible, which I still have a copy of, they um, it was read different from the New Silver Sword. You no know, light, click on. To figure out, why don't I go get a different version of a Bible to see why this one reads different from this one? It's the same book, same chapter, same verse. Why does it read different? And why is it forbidden? To bring in your black Bibles. And why people reading from those Bibles. And the elders look at them. You got the wrong Bible. How can you have the wrong Bible if it's a Bible people? You should be able to bring a King James Bible. Or any other Bible into the Kingdom Halls. Yeah, King James may have the old version, but as long as you know what the pronunciation of those words into modern English, you should be able to bring any Bible in church or the Kingdom Halls. These Bibles is upgraded to misguide you. Even someone just beginning to learn the Bible, which I started learning way after I left this organization.
for good. I start understanding the Bible. I remember the, some of the scriptures. I said, wait, this doesn't make sense. And you read it from a different Bible. Oh my gosh. They're trying to turn Christ into this false god named Jehovah. The one who gave his life to die for us on the cross. And I'm going to get into that. And, and that child put it as if Jehovah was this being that we put to dedicate our life to. A few scriptures in Revelation, when it's talked about Christ, the one who died for us. God never died for us. His Father didn't die for us. It was his son. When I was listening to a, a YouTube channel, and they was talking about the stake and the cross, and they mentioned a scripture in the Bible when Thomas told the disciples, unless I see the nails, in his hands, I would not believe is Christ. First of all, nails is more than one. So that means he died on a pole with a beam going across. His hands, with one hand to the right of the uh, the wood, the extra wood they put up there, the beam, and his right hand on the other side. And yes, you could call that what they call it a cross, a cross beam. You want to put it like that. And it was in the Bible, in Jehovah's Witnesses' Bible. I about fell off my chair. Could not believe. I had to go get the Bible out and read it for myself. And I could not believe. My eyes and my parents' eyes so closed. They couldn't read the scriptures for themselves. People, when you put faith in elders that don't even know anything about the Bible, only what they've been told and learned from their secret handbook the shepherd of flock of God. These books has corrupted these elders for many years. These elders can't think for themselves. But the only time they think for themselves when they can take advantage to control people. And then they push their eldership way too high. Now that song sounds good, looks good, and watch the video. It is wonderful. But when it's being used 
on the sick, the poor, people's down in the dumps, to lure them into Watchtower's trap. Then it cannot be good. These videos are dead deadly to anyone that doesn't do no research on these misguided translated videos in their literature. It's just another trap Satan uses. Because think about it. If Satan used the same trap in all religions, in all cults, if you got out one, would you go back into the same snare, same trap again? You've been caught two or three different times. No, because you got smart. You got out barely alive. So that's the reason why Satan used different religions to keep you in a different trap, a different snare. He has tons, tons of them. That's the reason they're all different religions. And you know why you keep falling? in these traps because you want men to teach you the Bible you want men to show you how to live a good life just like I told my friend why do you need books to teach you about the Bible but it had Bible scriptures in there. It has good examples. I told her. I'm not going to look at your books for one thing. I spent almost 40 something years. Going through books after books in literature after literature. From Jehovah Witnesses. That kept me away from the Bible. Your books that you read is from an author that only using few scriptures, and I, other hand, was in a religion that had books was using scriptures, and it was and it was called religion. So, people, if you really want to keep your eyes on the true prize. Just open it up. It's called the Bible. It's not a publication written by the Bible Craft Society. Mike's humor. Mike and Kim. You people have the gift in your hand. You can learn. Apply the scriptures. That's the reason why it puts the Hebrews, the Jews, through the Bible so you can learn from the mistakes. How can you learn from their mistakes if you're learning from a different person who's teaching you a different way but you're not learning nothing. How God punished them now. How He welcomed them back. All they had to do just quit doing what they was doing. He would forgive them. Just like Christ died for us to forgive us for our sins. But there is no ignorance when you're letting other people to teach you what you can do for yourself. Like I said, if the Bible is hard for me 
to read because my eyesight and my vocabulary of certain words that is still hard for me to pronounce I use a PDF Bible a King James Bible people life can be better for you if you dump your false teaching down the toilet and just flush it. And just use the Bible. You should use the Bible to see if your literature is telling you the truth. Not using your literature to see if the Bible is telling you the truth. You don't need books to teach you how to use the Bible. Trust me, I learned the hard way. That doesn't work. If you want to be a car mechanic, are you going to get books on fairy tales? Uh, golf? Tennis, football, how far are you going to get to become a mechanic, people? Not too far. So if you got that comprehend in your brain, then why do you need Watchtower's false publications to teach you about the Bible? something you're going to have to answer. And you better make your decision quick. Sooner or later, the door's going to close. And when it does, you're just like those virgin girls who had went back to get the oil. Because they was too low. They wasn't able to get inside the building and that's going to happen to every single one of y'all who's in these false religions because you refuse to do research on your religion but it's okay to do research on other people's religions because when you go to the door you know a little bit about Baptist and you learn about other religions, but you fail to do research on yours. Truthfully, you need to research on your religion first, because how can you teach your fellow man about their religion when you have a big rafter in your eye? In your religion, your cult, how can you pull the false teaching out of someone else's eye when you got these giant beams in your eyes? I mean, I tell you, watch tires beam is humongous because there's so many lies. This religion has made over the years. Think about it. How can you pull religion out of somebody else's eyes when your religion is a big giant rafter in your eyes? And you gotta let someone that has a splinter in their eyes teach you about oh my god look at that big beam in your eyes I mean you must got a bunch of lies in your religion think about it you have not stayed